Hey guys! So today we're going to be looking at the amazing artwork created by Frida Kahlo. Frida Kahlo is super famous because of her wonderful portraits that were really vibrant and colourful and had a lot of different animals in. She was really famous for having really beautiful flowers in her hair and that's right, you guessed it, the monobrow. Right there, there's her eyebrows. She was very famous for those eyebrows. and check out her monkeys she was a really cool artist that we love to study in art so we're going to create our very own check out this picture it's so cool we're going to create our very own frida Kahlo inspired artwork now you can see in her artwork right here that she has lots of vibrant colorful patterns and flowers and parrots in her backgrounds you can also see that she enjoyed having portraits with her parrots right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on creating a portrait um, with some parrots in the background. So first thing, I found myself a piece of construction paper. And what I want you to do is, any color is fine, is get yourself some paint. If you don't have paint, you can try practicing this with your markers at home and just having a go with drawing these techniques too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paint and I have some uh, my dog bowl with some water and a sponge and I have my messy mat and I have my paint in my container right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a color paint that's different from my paper. And remember if you don't have paint at home you can try something else like markers as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my paint across my paper. I'm trying to get it quite thick. I'm trying to leave some edges so that I can put my fingertips to hold my paper down. And we're just trying to cover the paper all the way to the edges. And I'm using this really nice shade of purple, which is working really well on top of my red paper. And like I said, it's kind of thick. We need to be kind of quick because we want it to still be wet when we work on top of it. And you can see right here, I'm getting all the way to this corner. And I like this. Oh, that's so good. And you can see that my paintbrush is on her tippy toes, like a ballerina. Perfect. All right, so now that we have our background done, I'm actually going to turn my paintbrush over, or you can actually get a new paintbrush if you want. And we're going to use this end right here to do some drawing. So I have my practice drawings right here that I practiced earlier. Sorry, wrong way around. Practiced earlier, and we're going to have a go at creating these flowers with the back of our paintbrush. So I'm going to create a line that's kind of wiggly, connected to each other. Perfect. And I'm going to make another line on the inside. Oh, that's cool. And a dot for my flower. And then I'm going to do some little lines right here. And we have to work kind of quick because it's wet, remember? Perfect. There's one flower. Okay, I'm going to do another flower down here. with that wiggly line in the middle. Perfect. And you can see that I'm creating these really cool designs on my paper. Next, I'm going to add my parrot right here for you guys to see. So I'm going to do the parrot's tail. Right there. And then I'm going to connect it to his body, which I'm going to kind of create this wiggly line shape. I don't know if you can see that wiggly line shape right there. Now this is going to be his beak. So I'm going to create a curved beak that comes around like that. And then his bottom of his beak wants to just kind of connect right there. And then this is going to be where his head is. And then his body connects back here. So we're going to create a nice round head like this. Perfect. And then here is going to be where his wing goes. So I'm going to go like this. Bring that back up, and then his tail feathers are really beautiful and long, nice and back. Perfect. Okay, and then my next step is to make it look more like Frida Kahlo's parrot, I'm going to give it a little comb of feathers right here. Oh, look at that, and then an eye, we need an eye. So pretty. Okay, and then maybe a little bit of detail like this his body and I think that's pretty good actually for him maybe a line or two right there perfect okay and then I feel like we've got a nice space right here that we could add one more flower in so I'm going to create a curve 
Oh, mine's starting to dry a little. Try and create my curve right here. There we go. All right, perfect. Now all we need to do is let this guy dry. Okay, so our Frida Kahlo parrot is all dry, which looks awesome. Now, the next step is we want to add some vibrant colors. And if we think back to when we looked at Frida's wonderful artwork, you can see right here all these really vibrant colors on the bottom of her art in the background. So we want to try and make that really stand out. Now, there's lots of different things you can use. You could use some oil pastels if you have them. You could try using some markers if you have them. You could try using colored pencil. You could even try and add some paint. Whatever you feel like you've got at home and you would like to try, you could even pick out bits of news um, magazine and stick it on if you want to add some color like that way. Whatever you've got at home, give it a go and make some amazing artwork. So I'm going to start by adding some color to my parrot using oil pastel. Now, if we think about Frida's parrots, okay, and I flick through her book right here that I have, which is an amazing book, by the way. You can see that her parrots had these kind of really vibrant, colorful feathers. So I'm going to try and make my guy look like that. So I'm going to use some green and I'm just going to add some color to the painted areas. Now, we don't have to add, we don't have to color the whole thing in. We can just add some patterns to this to make it really stand out and look kind of cool. Oh, that looks kind of cool. I might add a little bit of a blue color on top, like a little bit of a stripe. So it looks like his feathers are both green and blue. Oh, that's so cool. And I kind of like how the purple kind of comes through it too. So I'm gonna leave some of that purple. Now I want him to have a really bright pink face and beak. Now I think I'm gonna give his beak a different color from his face so that that stands out and then I think I'm gonna do a green I'm gonna do a different green though a green head using my oil pastel and I'm just kind of I might even make some circles oh, that's cool look at that alrighty perfect okay so he's got a green head he's got his green body and then I'm gonna make these feathers really stand out on the back here these long feathers let me use some blues kind of feels strange as well when you start using oil pastel and drawing on top of paint because it feels a little bit a little bit odd I'm gonna give him a really blue back now make him look like a really vibrant parrot oh, so cool look at that all right and then over here we talked about his comb which is the feathers on the top I'm gonna make those really bright red there they are so I'm not coloring it in in lots of detail I'm adding a few different patterns and I'm making sure I can still see that cool line I created. Wonderful, I love that. Okay, next step, we're gonna add some color to our flowers. Add a bit of red right here to this flower. And then in the middle, I'm gonna add a bit of orange. That's kind of cool. And then this one, I'm gonna make orange as well with a bit of yellow. Really make that stand out. And I want some of that purple to still come through like we talked about so beautiful Frida would be so proud of us look at that color voila love it so cool all right and last but not least this one right down here I'm gonna do and I'm gonna do in a little bit of a pink color I'm actually going to add a little bit of purple on top because I kind of like the way that will look. And some purple stripes in there. Nice. Oh, guys, that's so cool. All right, I don't know if you can see it very well, but you can still see that cool pattern that I came up with earlier. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take a black and I'm going to outline my parrot, but I don't want to go on top of the line I made with my paintbrush. So I'm going to go around, and if you've got a Sharpie and you want to use a Sharpie, you can. I'm going to go around the outside, and you can see that I'm missing this line, because that's a cool line. I'm just going to go around the parrot. All the way around. 
put this comb right here. Oh, that's so cool. All the way down. Whoops. <laughs> and then all the way across his back feathers. Oh my gosh. I love it. It's so cool. And that, guys, add a little dot to his eye, is how we make a Frida Kahlo parrot. Now, if you want to, you could add some other details, but I'm going to leave it as that. And I want you to make sure you check out our Frida Kahlo page on our Google Classroom. Press all the links and check out all her videos. And have a great day, guys. See you soon.